All right, so this solution is going to work for the XFA240, that one right there, still has that thing attached. And basically, I got this off an Acer support forum. However, it was missing one particular step, so I'm gonna include it in this one. What you're gonna wanna do is you, you're gonna wanna unplug the power cable, and then you're also going to want to turn that little switch right there, switch that over to off. Once you have that switched off and the cable unplugged, you're gonna wanna press and hold this other on power button right here. Hold it for 20 seconds. After that, you should be able to plug everything back in, uh, switch that switch back to on, and then it should cycle through and it should work for you. Uh, you might still get the signal not detected originally, especially if you have two monitors. I have this other one that's on uh, DVI, so it, detects it first for whatever reason but yeah i suggest you try this before you try messing with any drivers reinstalling things like that and hopefully it works for you